Back to our main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, where we're just awaiting the matchup of Malachi Black and Brody Lee. Now, this feels super special here. So stick with me. I want to watch the entrances, and I'm going to do some commentary over them as best as I can. Sometimes my commentary gets a little bit long during these entrances. And let's take it down to our... Announcer, Justin Roberts. And we see the arrival of the House of Black coming down to the ring here tonight. And it's told that Malachi is even more determined than ever to secure this victory tonight for the House of Black because of Buddy Matthews losing the matchup in the tag team matchup tonight. If he needed any more, if he needed anything else to motivate him, that was it. Like I said, Malachi Black has been waiting for weeks upon weeks, stalking the champ, stalking the competitive the contenders, Kenny Omega and Roman Reigns. No one saw it as as a surprise that Brody Lee would take the title off Kenny Omega. Does that throw a problem into the plan of Malachi Black? I don't know, but I, I can only assume that Malachi has been watching as much of the tapes that he can of Brody Lee. You know that he'll be, have been watching the matchup that Brody Lee had with Kenny Omega on AEW Dark Elevation. And if you weren't surprised by the heart and determination that Brody Lee had, you've got to be insane. Malachi Black with malice in his eyes. I think that means nasty thoughts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it means. And sometimes I just use words to kind of uh, sound smart. Buddy Matthews, Malachi Black, Brody King, and now Julia Hart, all making up the House of Black. So many men here to see, so many of them here to see their leader obtain. And wait a minute, Brody Lee has brought some backup with him in this championship matchup. Brody Lee has brought his friend, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt was absolutely super proud for Brody Lee's victory that he posted on Instagram that finally, you've gotten what's yours, my friend. Hold it. And I can't wait to have that one day matchup with you, my friend. Well, he's not in the matchup here with Mr. Brody Lee for this championship. He is here to support him as he knew that Malachi Black would have backup. That championship looks absolutely great on the exalted one, Mr. Brody Lee himself. But could it be his one and only night? Let's go down to the inter into the Introductions, folks. Main it's event time. Remember, there is no commercial break here. Weighing in at 215 pounds, Black. I don't like that side. Malachi Black cutting the throat, telling Brody Lee, your champ, your time is over. Weighing in at 275 pounds, he Brody is Lee, eyes focused on Malachi Black. Hold that championship close to himself. It's not out of the realm of possibility. We know that we're that I've, I know that I've been telling all of you that Malachi Black has been waiting for weeks for this championship matchup. But Brody Lee has just become the AW World Heavyweight Champion. No way does he want to lose that thing so quickly. He may not want to, but he may have to. We're gonna find out right now. Malachi Black, Broly, both men laser focused in this matchup.
Malachi, oh, Brody Lee starting off fast with a with some quick strikes there. Malachi answers back. Brody Lee using his his power and his speed to his advantage. Malachi Black is going to have to think of some new uh, some new tactics here. An inverted tombstone there. That's a very quick way to get the ball rolling your way. Malachi drop it down low with a drop kick there. Malachi, got, that's what he might have to do. Look, you see that Brody was clutching at his leg there. And that may be what Malachi Black is going to have to do. Is attack the leg of Brody Lee, chop him down a size. But right now, Brody Lee overpowering Malachi Black. And he's pulling at him by his feet. Brody Lee just snapping the leg of Malachi. European uppercut there. Malachi Black sitting Brody onto the ring apron. And a nice insecurity there. Malachi just taking a breath, pacing himself. That's what he needs to do. He can't get, he can't go too fast in this matchup. He does not know when he will get another championship opportunity quite like this. Striking at Brody Lee, who is falls into the corner there. Malachi Black, kick to the stomach there. That was very close to being low, and that just knocked the wind out of Mr. Brody Lee there. Malachi using some of that, um, forgive me if I get it wrong, but I think it's Muay Thai style that Malachi Black utilizes. Malachi may have been thinking for the insecurity again, but Brody Lee saw it coming. Both men have been absolutely pacing themselves here in this matchup, making sure to nail some of their biggest moves that they have but also making sure to take their time. Malachi using the backbreaker there on Brody Lee. Malachi, he, he's pacing himself. He's making sure to watch everything that he does here. He does not want to take the chance here because one mistake will cost Malachi Black just like that, we saw. And for the first cover of the night, uh, Kai with a, with a kick out before the ref could even count to one. And now Brody crossing the arms over the throat of Malachi Black. And that's just, a, that's, just a, that's just so much punishment on you. You're choking yourself and Brody had his knee in the spine of Malachi. There's the roundhouse kick. The roundhouse kick and Ray Wyatt taunts it. Taunting at the referee. Malachi Black laying in wait. Going to wait for the day of reckoning. Brody Lee saw it coming. Malachi thought he was being smart and picked a spot. Oh, Brody was looking for the discus lariat there. Roundhouse kick. Both men are just countering each other's signature maneuvers. Malachi again going down low on Brody Lee to the legs. That's exactly what he needs to do. Malachi Black is doing just that. He's changing up his tactics right now. Everything is moving exactly as Malachi Black would like it right now. Malachi now a barrage of kicks to Mr. Brody Lee. Malachi going to go to the middle rope. Malachi. He knew, he thought better of it. He did not want to take the chance that Brody Lee was going to capitalize on him. Nice strike there, but Brody Lee countered out of it with a spine buster. Malachi pulling himself up from the ropes there, but Brody Lee, Brody Lee not going to give him any chance of rest. As I say that, I get a star for a rest hold. Go for a drop toll. Brody Lee saw it coming this time. Kick to the inside leg again. Nice roundhouse, no! And now Malachi just looking to choke out Brody Lee. A little bit of measure of revenge for Brody Lee using a choke hold on Malachi Black. Malachi laying weight. Perhaps in, in deep thought of what to do next for Mr. Brody Lee. 
Brody hits the shoulder tackle there. And now Brody Lee laying in wait over Malachi. Oh no! The day of reckoning! Malachi dodged the, the discus lariat and hits the day of reckoning on Brody Lee! Who kicks out right there. That was almost it there for, for Brody Lee. Uh oh. Got Malachi back suplex on the ring apron there. And Brody Lee calling upon some support from the fans who gladly obliged. Look at the strength of Mr. Brody Lee to launch Malachi black in the air, catching him down with a gut wrenching suplex. Malachi just pushing Brody Lee off. Looking for a drop kick there. Brody dodged it. Malachi Black quickly finds himself back into the ring. Oh! Brody caught him with a super kick! Brody caught Malachi Black with a super kick! Malachi was looking for a moonsault there. Brody Lee just caught him. Brody Lee just damaging the back there. Could be setting up for that big time power bomb that he does. Malachi working every part of the body, the, the legs, the head. Oh, whoa, 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 look, look, capture power bomb! The strength of Malachi Black! That was a deep power bomb there. Malachi missing the big boot. Oh, but raking in the face of Brody Lee. And Brody Lee's face has been damaged, ladies and gentlemen. He is bleeding, and that's not going to help his chances. That will only increase the chances of the Day of Reckoning hitting at Brody Lee. Oh, where a takedown there. Oh, I wish that I wish we would have struck him, Brody. I know that he can't, though. That would have been great, though. Malachi again going right back to the legs of Mr. Brody Lee using a smart advantage. That is the best way to get the big man down. And that is exactly what Malachi Black is doing. Targeting the legs of Mr. Brody Lee. Damn it, I missed it. Oh, the cannonball sent on there! Okay, get out, get out, get out. I was trying to throw you out to kind of help you out. Oh, I forgot, it's uh, Harper, not Brody Lee. I mean, it is Brody Lee, but you know what I meant. On the on the, on the the HUD, it says Harper. Oh, there's a roundhouse kick! Malachi went too fast and he missed it! Oh, why did you do that one, Brody? Are you that confident that you won't need the resiliency? Moonsault there! Malachi Black nailed the moonsault this time around. Malachi top rope, thick and diving foot stumps. Roll through it. German suplex, that was deep there. Excuse me. Oh, and a nice kick to the stomach there. Malachi rolls through with a Great roundhouse kick to the ribs. And Malachi just put everything into that. That took the wind out of himself just to deliver that type of roundhouse kick with that much power behind it. Brody kicks the spine. Uh oh. Buddy Matthews distracting the referee. No oh, super kick! Brody keeps going for that discus lariat. And Malachi Black keeps dodging it. Oh, Brody sends Malachi outside of the floor. Uh-oh. And gonna take him straight down. Back suplex on the ring apron, Julia. Oh, just tossing Malachi's spine first. Brody punishing Malachi. Oh, Julia now! That man fit enough 
technically Julia, all she did was just punch Brody. She didn't hurt, damage him or anything. No, 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 oh, no! Not that way, damn it! It was thanks to Julia Here's Hart. Your winner and new All-Star Wrestling Heavyweight Malachi Black, Black, Black is the new AEW World Heavyweight Champion. Thanks to the assistance by Julia Hart. That damn Jezebel. The House of Black wins. Malachi Black is our new AEW World Heavyweight Champion. The prophecy was true as Malachi Black insisted that he was the rightful king for the championship. I just can't believe that it came because of the assistance by Julia Hart. That proves that it was the right move to get Julia Hart in the House of Black. That one little move cost it all. Malachi hit the Day of Reckoning, and it was over for Mr. Brody Lee. Well, thanks guys for tuning in. That was episode number 50 of AEW uh, Universe Mode. Malachi Black is finally, let's take a look at it, is our new World Heavyweight Champion. Where's Brody, where's Brody ranked at? Number 8, okay, so I mean, Brody was not like ranked anywhere. So Roman's up there, Kenny Omega was at number 5 or 6, I believe, so. But now, where's the, I wonder, where's the House of Black listed? Okay, number 8. So that's 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 normal. Julia is like all the way at the bottom of the barrel. But I feel like that she should have gotten a boost in the rankings because of her because of her beating Shayna. But I don't control it. It just does it. Anyway, guys, that was uh, again episode number fifty. And uh, so here's where I'm going to talk just a little bit with you guys. Um, this has been. Uh, as I said yesterday, it's just so much fun. I've just really enjoyed making these videos um, to just um, give you guys entertainment and to give myself entertainment as well because it's been so much fun just to kind of keep going with this and present my universe mode out there to people to actually watch um, if they wanted to um, and just coming up with brand new ideas as to what to do and where we're going to go with all this stuff, it's so very exciting to see these stories unfold by themselves at times and kind of put them together myself. Uh, it's just been so much fun to create these m memories here. Um, it, it, it brings me joy back to the days of where I watched uh, when I played uh, W2K15. Uh, I understand that's a uh, controversial game for some people by saying that they actually enjoy it. But I really like that game because I created many stories there. Uh, Ambrose feuded with pretty much everybody. Rob Van Dam, William Regal, Daniel Bryan. Um, he was like the number one heel pretty much in the company. Uh, Corey Graves was like a long-lasting Intercontinental Champion. Uh, Chris Jericho was a great World Heavyweight Champion. So many memories that were created in my universe mode in 2K15. And I just feel like I'm creating more memories here. And the best part is, is that I can go back and watch some of these things. Um, I don't really like listening to my commentary at times. Um, but I think that I am actually starting to do a little bit better at it. Um, especially because I'm gaining more confidence in what I'm doing. Um, I have no, by me, no means a professional commentator. Absolutely not. Um, but I like to think that I'm starting to get a little bit better when I'm actually paying attention. Sometimes I get a little sidetracked doing things. Um, but it's just, again, it's just been so much fun to have you guys along here for this journey. Um, and I look forward to just keep going and going. This is not stopping anytime soon. Um, but I feel like that since we've reached episode 50, uh, I may take just a little bit time off from doing AEW Universe Mode and just focusing on some Batman videos to kind of get away from doing so much AEW because most of my focus has been going into the Universe Mode that I want to make sure that I don't forget about the other videos that I do as well too. Um, 
I, I could do a Spider-Man one, like in my bio, it says I make Batman and Spider-Man videos, but honestly, like, I've, I'm kind of past doing Spider-Man right now, maybe sometime I'll do it, I don't know, um, but again, another reason why I don't really do W2K22 Universe Mode is because there's just, um, it's because it would be really awful to, like, hit the hard reset on everything that we've done here with the AEW Universe Mode, also, just 2K22, I just don't really enjoy the game that much, so it's like, I don't really play it that often, um, but there are other games I'm sure that I have that I can that I can still create uh, more memories for you guys with eventually. Uh, but mostly, like I could start playing Detroit Become Human to actually go through that with you guys, because there are still so many things there that I uh, have yet to discover. Uh, but that'll be for some other day, I'm sure. But this is just—it's been so much fun, guys. And let's go ahead and take a look, Malachi Black. World Heavyweight Champion. Again, this is I've just really enjoyed doing all this with you guys. Um, just creating these different memories that, you know, um, we can look at together. And, like, I'm just so ex happy that I've continued this. That, because, again, there are times I've created AEW, I've created Universe Modes on my YouTube channel, and at m most, I probably did about three episodes. Um, there was my PS3, I did the uh, Punkus GM uh, story mode that I created um, years ago on WA12, and I got to, like, about, I don't know, 30 episodes of that, but I was only able to record up to, like, 15 minutes at times. Um... That was probably the most dedicated I was ever at um, doing um, parts and, you know, continuing my videos. Uh, other times it's mostly been one-offs. But I've been continuing this one, and I'm just so glad that I have not lost the excitement and been like, eh, you know what, no one's really paying attention to it anyways. No, because again, like, even though sometimes most people, some people aren't really pink watching the video as much, um, but... It's, it's been so great for me because I'm enjoying it and it gives me something to look forward to at the end of my day. And I really am having fun with doing this. Um, so just thanks guys so much for always for tuning in. Any comments that you ever leave, um, you know, the new subscribers that I've gained, uh, thanks so much for subscribing. You know, honestly, it's, it's just been so great to be growing this channel. And it's a slow and steady grow, but it really, it means a lot to me to know that I am growing. Uh, because my YouTube channel was just, I never did anything with it, I felt like at first, until I started doing this. That I started becoming comfortable and actually, you know, I don't want to call this streaming, but it's like one of the best ways that I can, you know, call it with just the one word. Uh, recording, okay, we'll say. Um, it's just, this is, it's been awesome. To do all this with you guys and making me feel like I'm growing uh, my channel into something more eventually. Um, I don't know what else I'll be recording, but you know, eventually I'll get some other ideas with other games and whatnot. Um, I'm just this 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 moment feels special to me because again, I never I didn't think I was going to get this far with this universe mode, and I was worried. When 2K22 came out, I was going to be like, should I just take everything from here and then put it over to 2K22? Just hit a hard reset, and I'm glad that I didn't because it just wouldn't make sense. I've, I've got so much of my stuff saved here that it would be so almost like disrespectful to just throw everything away um, for something else. And it's just, anyways, that's going to be it, guys, and thank you so much for tuning in. For as long as you have, for any comments you've ever left, any likes you've ever given, uh, to the people who have super clicked to subscribe, thank you so much. Um, and don't worry, that will not be the end that we see of Mr. Broly in the AEW World Heavyweight Championship match. The reason why Brody didn't get, wasn't fighting harder, was be, well, he, he fought hard. The reason why he didn't gain the victory is because he wasn't in his uh, classic Brody outfit. I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, that that should be how we how we leave it off, guys. Thanks so much, and this was probably my favorite match of the night, though. Was this eight man style matchup? Oh shit! How many people got injured? Kenny Omega has been further injured. Wow! Uh, Corey Graves 
has been further injured. What else is what else is injured, buddy? Oh, the head. Typical Corey Graves. Wow, I suck. Oh, Kenny Omega's body. That's uh, red. So, even though Kenny won, I think we may have to give Kenny a little bit of a break or something. Don Callis will have to go through some contract status with uh, Tony Khan or something. Anyway, guys, that's, that's going to be the end. Um, again, thanks so much for tuning in. Episode 50. I think this is a great episode. Um, <laughs> Junior's going crazy upstairs. Don't forget to super click the subscribe. Hit the day of reckoning in the comment section below and cough and drop that like button. Thanks guys very much and always remember, the house always wins. Except the screener tag team matches. <laughs>